His first tag team match is a six-man. It's December 22nd, 2021, AEW Dynamite Holiday Bash. Um, CM Punk teams with Darby Allen and Sting. And if you guys remember, what a great visual that was. Them all wearing the face paint and everything. And they're taking on um, a tag team of Cash Wheeler, Dax Harwood, and MJF. Uh, you guys were still the pinnacle at that point. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. How did that match come together? When did you find out about it? And how did you feel about getting a wrestle with CM Punk? Uh, this was a match pitched by Punk uh, because we were in Green- Greensboro Coliseum and having Sting there, obviously, uh, we wanted to bring that nostalgia feel. Um, but also, I'm sure he enjoyed teaming with Sting, you know, and that was a dream of his. He's a huge Sting fan. Um, and then teaming with an up and comer like Darby, who is incredible, uh, and knowing that myself and Cash would take care of him, we would take care of Sting, um, obviously take care of Darbs too, but he doesn't need to be taken care of. Uh, and then Max, the hottest heel on the show, uh, it was you know a recipe for uh, some good shit, and it turned out to be some real good shit. Uh, we went twenty some minutes, I believe, um, and I just remember, you know. Uh, we didn't call. Uh, I, I hate talking about this stuff, but we're on a podcast. I got to do it, I guess. We didn't call very much stuff in the back. I'm a big believer in uh, calling a lot of stuff in the ring. Um, you know, in today's world, you, you do have to talk a bit in the back. But, uh, you know, Sting trusted me and he trusted Cash. Punk trusted me and he trusted Cash. Darby as well. And they allowed us to call that match in the ring. And uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite matches of my career. You talked about this a little bit on our little teaser show. You talked about how you don't rehearse matches, how, you know, even recently that great match you had with Mike Speedball Bailey, you guys talked about it beforehand and you're like, no, I don't rehearse matches. Mm -hmm. You talked about how Cody Rhodes had the misunderstanding that you guys rehearsed matches Mm -hmm. and that it's not something that you do. Uh, Is that, is that more and more of a lost art? Like what's the percentage of people that, would rather rehearse in the back than call it in the ring at this point in time, the people that you wrestle? Uh, honestly, it's, it's, you know, nine out of 10 guys. Uh, and that doesn't mean it's wrong. Please don't, you know, uh, have that misconception of what I'm saying. I don't think it's wrong. That's just how I operate. Uh, because these like, man, if I were Ray Phoenix or if I were Nick Jackson, I would, yeah, I'd call almost everything in the back because they are so incredible at the abilities that they have, right? Me, on the other hand, the only thing I'm really good at is locking up, punching, kicking, and being intense. That that's that, and and I like to think telling stories too. Um, and so the way I structure my matches are not around moves; they're around the drama and they're around emotion. Um, and so. You know, the, the I can't I can't fully feel uh, how the crowd is reacting if I have a complete A to Z uh, plan to, going out there too. Right. Uh, so that's just not how I operate. Uh, again, like I said, that doesn't make my way right or wrong. That's just how I operate. 